Welcome to the Milky Way, our cosmic home among countless billions of other galaxies. Let's explore what lies within our galaxy. Thank you for watching and enjoy. At the center of our galaxy lies Sagittarius A star, a supermassive black hole with an immense gravitational pull that influences the movement of nearby stars and gas. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Sagittarius A star has a diameter of about 26 million kilometers, or 16.2 million miles, nearly 20 times wider than our sun, with a mass of about 4.3 million suns. Despite its dark and mysterious nature, Sagittarius A star remains a subject of intense research and curiosity, holding many secrets yet to be unraveled. Other types of black holes in our galaxy include stellar mass black holes, which form from the collapse of massive stars and typically range from about 5 to 20 times the mass of our Sun. Intermediate mass black holes, which bridge the gap between stellar mass and supermassive black holes, have masses ranging from hundreds to thousands of times that of the Sun. Scientists also theorize the existence of primordial black holes, which could have formed in the first seconds after the Big Bang, with masses ranging from 100,000 times less than a paperclip to 100,000 times the mass of the Sun. Understanding black holes is crucial as they play a significant role in shaping galaxies by influencing star formation and galactic dynamics. The Milky Way is a stellar tapestry featuring hundreds of billions of stars of various sizes and colors. Main sequence stars, like our Sun, fuse hydrogen into helium in their cores. Red giants, having exhausted their hydrogen, expand and cool, fusing heavier elements. White dwarfs are the dense, hot remnants of stars that have shed their outer layers. Neutron stars, formed from supernovae remnants, are incredibly dense and made almost entirely of neutrons. There are also blue giants, massive and hot stars that burn through their fuel quickly, and red dwarfs, small and cool stars with incredibly long lifespans. Yellow dwarfs, such as our sun, are stable and emit white light, though they may appear yellow due to atmospheric scattering. Supergiants, among the largest and brightest stars, end their lives in spectacular supernova explosions. Brown dwarfs, often called failed stars, lack the mass to sustain hydrogen fusion. These various types of stars, each with unique characteristics and life cycles, contribute to the rich and diverse tapestry of the Milky Way. Among these stars, we also find mesmerizing nebulae, the birthplaces of new stars and planets. Nebulae are giant clouds of gas and dust in space with different types and characteristics. Emission nebulae, like the Orion Nebula, glow with ionized gas due to radiation from nearby hot stars. Planetary nebulae, shells of gas and dust ejected from dying stars illuminate brightly as their core heats them. Dark nebulae, such as the Horsehead Nebula, are dense clouds that block light, creating stunning silhouettes. Reflection nebulae reflect light from nearby stars, while supernova remnants are nebulae left from stellar explosions. The Eagle Nebula and the Carina Nebula are prolific star-forming regions, giving birth to many new stars. Our galaxy is also home to countless exoplanets, which vary in size, composition, and orbit, just like the planets in our solar system. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, continues to fuel our curiosity and exploration as we hope to answer the age-old question of life beyond Earth. The Milky Way is adorned with stunning star clusters. Open clusters are groups of young stars born from the same molecular cloud and are loosely bound by gravity. Globular clusters, dense spherical collections of older stars, 
are typically found in the outer regions or halo of the Milky Way. The galactic halo is a spherical region containing older stars and globular clusters that extends far beyond the visible part of the Milky Way. The spiral arms are regions of higher density where new stars are often formed. Our star, the Sun, and the rest of the solar system reside near a small partial arm called the Orion Arm or Orion Spur. In addition to stars and planetary systems, there are rogue planets that do not orbit any star and wander through the galaxy independently. These rogue planets, likely ejected from their original star systems, travel the vast interstellar space, adding to the diversity and mystery of our galaxy. The Milky Way is an ever-evolving entity. In about four and a half billion years, it is destined to collide with the neighboring Andromeda galaxy, reshaping our galactic home. Most stars and planets are expected to remain intact due to the vast distances between them. When the galaxies finally merge and settle into place, a new gigantic galaxy will be formed. Powerful galactic winds, streams of high-speed particles generated by supernovae and radiation from supermassive black holes shape the structure of our galaxy by blowing gas into intergalactic space and triggering star formation. Galactic winds travel at speeds ranging from about 300 to 3,000 kilometers per second, or about 186 to 1,864 miles per second. Cosmic rays, high energy particles, travel through the galaxy and impact planetary atmospheres, including Earth's. These particles are more energetic and travel near the speed of light. As we explore our galaxy, I'm reminded how incredible it is to exist here and to experience life within this vast expanse. Humanity's place in this grand cosmic dance is nothing short of incredible, and it makes me grateful to share a moment here with all of you. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the Milky Way. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with other curious minds. Your support helps others find and enjoy these adventures. I appreciate this incredible community for the ongoing support. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.